go according to plan. This video has not been uploaded on a Wednesday. For a while, I've been wanting to upload more than one video a week. And right now with work and commuting and just life in general, I can commit to the best of my ability to put up a beauty video every Wednesday. But on weekends where I can find some extra time, make some extra time, I wanna do a bonus video. And this bonus video is going to be a little bit more casual, not as much editing. And it's gonna help me get to some viewer requests. I feel like I get those a lot. And with just doing four videos a month, sometimes it's hard for me to get to everyone's request. So recently it was asked that I do the favorite fall things tag as well as include some more style items in my video. And at first I was thinking about doing a lookbook, but when I looked through my closet, I thought this will be the most boring lookbook of all time. I have a pretty much a uniform every day where I either wear dark wash skinny jeans or black skinny jeans, a flowy top, and then a pair of pretty earrings or a necklace and then just basic flats. So that's what I wear every day. So that wouldn't make a really interesting video, but I do have some certain pieces that I really like. And so my idea is to take this tag and to pick and choose some of my favorite questions from it. And I'm going to talk about some beauty products that I'm excited about, but I'm also going to mention some clothing items. And for the clothing questions, I'm going to take a little bit more time and show you a few extra things. That way I can have a well-rounded video. And if I don't answer a specific question, I will answer it in the description box below. So that is how I think this video is going to go. Let's go ahead and get started with some of the beauty questions. This first product is going to be my favorite fall face product. And this is a palette I bought when it was limited edition. And I never wanted to talk about it because it's no fun talking about something that you all can't get, but now it is permanent so I can share it with you. And that is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Specifically, it's the middle shade, which I use as a highlighter. This is incandescent light. And this shade was specific only to this palette, but this is the most beautiful highlighter. I love to use it on the top of my cheekbones. And this is a highlighter that I feel like is an everyday highlighter. It does give a beautiful glow, but it's not overboard. It doesn't take a lot of blending to make sure it looks good. And I think this is a beautiful highlighter across the board, but specifically if you have really fair skin like me, this is a very natural highlighter. For blush, I'm gonna show you my latest blush purchase. And this was 100% because of the Bubblegum Princess. Elise featured this blush in her September Favorites video. It's from Becca, and this is my first Becca blush, and it's their Mineral Blush in the shade Songbird. This is so beautiful, really warm, and I was so impressed with the pigmentation. This is my first time wearing it, and when I put it on this morning, I was a little bit taken back, and I think I kind of overdid it, so I had to spend some time blending it out. But I love this color, and this is my favorite tone to wear in the fall. I've already done a complete fall lip product pick video. So if you haven't seen that, I will link it below. But in that video, I featured a lot of matte lip products. So today I thought I would show you a combination I'm liking that's more shiny. And it is the combination of the Smashbox Always Sharp Lip Liner in the shade Nude Medium. And this is a deep nude, especially on me since I'm so fair and I don't have a lot of pigmentation in my lips. And this nude has a little bit of brown to it. So I will line my lips and then fill them in a little bit with this lip liner. And then on top, I will take one of the NYX Butter Glosses and this is in the shade Praline. And the NYX Butter Glosses are one of my favorite formula of lip glosses of everything I've tried. And this is a color I didn't have. I think this came out a little bit later in the line and it's a deep brown so this is what I'm wearing right now and I think if you're wanting to do a little bit of that brownie rose lip but you want a shiny option this is a beautiful combination for the perfume candle question in the background I'm burning a Sydney Hale candle and I've talked about Sydney Hale in the past they are a locally owned candle company but I believe you can get them nationwide and recently my friends and I went to a little get-together where Sydney Hale was there and you could talk with her and she was so sweet and very interesting to talk to and she was also exhibiting some of her new scents so I purchased the one in woods which is sandalwood very warm so that's what I'm burning and I actually won a raffle that day so I got in the raffle basket that I won I got the coordinating room spray also in the scent wood. So my house has been smelling lovely like sandalwood. And so I love that. And then for perfume, I've been wearing this one from Leilani Skincare. And I'm going to try to pronounce it Pikake. I believe it is a exotic floral scent. It smells so good, but there's also a lot of earthiness to it. And I just get the best feeling when I apply this. And I also get a lot of compliments when I wear it. Autumn is my favorite time of year for nail polish. I just love all the fall colors. So I could have spent forever on this question, but I just decided to bring down the one I'm currently wearing, which is from Julep. And this is in the shade Valerie. And Valerie is a deep hunter green. It has some gold glitter, a little bit of silver and even blue glitter. So it's unusual, but the glitter is a lot more prominent in the bottle and when you put it on your nails it's very subtle and I think it just kind of adds to the shine. 
Those are the beauty questions I'm gonna answer. Now I'm gonna move into the style part of this video. And the first question is a fall clothing trend you're liking. And I have seen a lot of moto inspired clothing pieces. And most of my clothes come from Loft. I usually like everything in there and they are forever having a sale. So recently when the store was 40% off and you could use some of your saving cards, I bought a few items. And the first is this jacket. From far away, it kind of gives the appearance of a leather jacket, but it's actually a coated cotton. So it's cut in that that moto style and I like it I think it kind of toughens up if I'm wearing a really ladylike blouse and then I can toss this over it hasn't been too cold here lately but a couple days have been a little chilly so I've gotten to wear this to work I really like it and the same day I bought this I also bought a couple pair of jeans both jeans are from lofts modern skinny line and these ones have a cool detail going around the knee so it makes them look a little bit tough these are actually what I'm gonna wear with this blouse today just now I'm wearing just leggings since I'm gonna be around the house but when I leave I'm gonna put these on and then these are also modern skinny. I ended up having to get, I bought those from the regulars and these I got in the petite section. And these are just a plain dark wash jean. And I think these are really nice if you work in a place where you can wear jeans. I think they still look nice, but they also have these little zipper details. So this is a very, just a very easy way to play with that moto trend. I also think you guys would be shocked and horrified to see the amount of cat hair that is on these jeans. So I'm gonna have to find a lint roller before I leave for the day. Now I wanna talk about shoes and I'm gonna park here for a minute because I brought quite a few pairs down to show you. First, I wanna discuss weekend wear. And most of you know I wear a Fitbit, so I'm constantly trying to get my 10,000 steps in every day. So if I'm going to the mall or going to the grocery store, in the parking lot, I try to park far away so I can get whatever extra steps in that I can. So since I, I'm constantly in that mindset of trying to get extra steps, I like to wear really comfy shoes. And I don't know if you guys have a person you look to for style inspiration. For me, that is Jillian Harris, who became famous with The Bachelor Bachelorette. I never watched her on that, but I do love Love It or List It, which is a TV show on HGTV. And Love It or List It too. she is the designer, the interior designer, and she always has the cutest outfits on. And a lot of times she's wearing little tennis shoes. So a few months ago, maybe six or eight months ago, I bought a pair of Converse because of her. So a lot of times I'll wear these on the weekends. I also have a pair of chambray colored Vans that are really cute. So I just like these with, you know, ripped jeans and maybe a cozy sweatshirt. So these just make perfect running around shoes. I wear flats pretty much every day to work. So I've been getting a lot of use out of these from Loft. They have a pointed toe and a little bit of an ankle strap. So those are super cute. And then probably my current favorite pair of shoes are these from Steve Madden, again with the pointed toe. And both of these shoes look really great with skinny jeans, but I also think they're beautiful with a more dressy wide leg trouser. Last, I have a pair of boots. And I think I've mentioned that my parking situation at work is not always the greatest. And if there is any kind of inclement weather, I am pretty much guaranteed to not get a spot in the garage then I have to park a ways away and walk to work and since I'm wearing those cute flats I would hate for them to get ruined with the rain and I also hate the feeling of wet feet. So I wanted a pair of waterproof boots that didn't come up too high. And I was contemplating, I, at first I was thinking maybe about buying the L.L. Bean bean boot, just the six inch ones, but I ended up purchasing these from Sorel. These are the out and about boots, I think, and they are just perfect for what I need them to be. So I'm planning on wearing these when it's bad weather and then I can just bring the flats in my bag. And I also think these would be so cute on a fall weekend with leggings and like thick chunky socks and an oversized plaid shirt. So I'm so happy with these purchases. I can't wait for it, get, for it to get a little bit cooler so I can wear these. Those are the questions I have time to answer today. I will list every single question that's a part of this tag down below and my answers to any that I didn't get to. I do really want to quickly tag a few people. First, I tag Pretty Shiny Sparkly, Melissa Parada, Amanda Muse, Carrie Rad, Beautysaurus Lex, and Rachel Talbot. So I will list their videos and channels down below. And I hope you guys do this and anybody else who wants to do this tag. I know this was a little bit of just, I don't know. I just was a little bit of everything and I hope you enjoyed it. I really want to get to more requests. Um, I'm working on one request for a kind of spa pamper night routine. Someone else has requested a grocery haul. My own mother has requested videos. She wants a what's in my shower, which I think would be fun to do as well as a review on a new Dior foundation. I think it's the Dior star. I don't own that yet. So I'm going to work on the videos that I can right now, but thank you so much for watching. That is all for today. And I will see you in my next video.